well better to Yanaman. Uh, Yanaman, I guess you would have come into this match uh, on, on the back of some very big news earlier this morning and obviously the things going uh, up against Mark Boucher. Was that a motivation for you guys? I mean, how did you, did you feel that you needed to play this almost to show uh, some sort of support for him? Um, thank you. Um, yeah, I think every time we go out and play, we play for the team and everyone in the team and the country as well. Um, that's kind of the responsibility we have as a team. So, um, yeah, nothing's changed from that side. Uh, I don't know every individual felt, but um, just that I basically play for the team and the country. Yeah, uh, congratulations, Yanaman, on both your innings and a, a wonderful series win for the team. Um, you started off a little bit tentative against the spinners, but then really grew in confidence. Um, the rest of your innings played it very well. It, it almost seems like a metaphor for the team in general. I mean, the progress the team has made in both in playing spin um, and in also how well you guys are using spin um, against yeah. India of all teams. Yeah, I think um, it's been coming along for a couple of years now, us trying to improve and get better plans against spin, especially when it, it's slow and it's spinning and it's tough to kind of stand up straight and hit the ball. Um, we kind of want to use our sweep, reverse sweep and sweep um, just to uh, use the conditions to, to uh, have percentage, percentages up there for, for the, the well-executed sweep shot. So I think we've come a long way as a team, all the players and all signs to, to see it. Uh, How's it, gentlemen? Very well played. Um, just on the on the Boucher situation again, um, you know, I'm I'm assuming this this issue was discussed in the team when the when the news broke, and, and I just wonder what what was the feeling in the team, you know, having this kind of hanging over the game. Yeah, I don't want to sound ignorant or un, uninterested, but um, it's a big series we have in front of us, so we, we can't have many uh, we can't have many distractions in terms of personal mindset. So for me. Uh, I just try to focus on the game and uh, uh, bat the bowl, like focusing on getting the team in good winning positions um, and playing for everyone on the team and for the country. Uh, so that's just my, my, how I see it. Giseps, uh, congratulations Nick, with your guys' uh, win today and your batting performance. Obviously, you saw the, how the test series went and how relatively poor the, the batting was. But do you guys take a lot of confidence out of these two um, ODI games in the batting department? Yes, definitely. I think in the test, it's a different context within itself. You can look how much runs were scored between both teams. Um, so maybe it, were, it was good, uh, good, good batting in, in, in context. Um, but yeah, we, we're happy to have 200s in the previous game. Um, we maybe could have gotten Neil Quinney get, get to 100. Uh, but I, I'm very proud of the partnerships we had. Uh, we had 100 partnerships and 250 partnerships, which means um, the batters are coming in with good plans, good intent, and building a nice partnership to, to make it easier for each other. So it's a very good science. Uh, well done on your knock. I just wanted to ask you, uh, how did you uh, find the Indian bowling attack, the first big innings that you played against them, against guys like Bumbara, Ashwin, Jahal? How was, how was the experience overall? Yeah, a guy like me, I've always seen them bowl uh, in the IPL um, and all the international games they play. So it's, it, it was um, good to, to get out and kind of get game time against them. Um, it, it, yeah, it, you need more time to face guys like that because you need to get the rhythm of, of each and every one of them. So it's a kind of a challenge for me to, to do it in the first and second game. But um, yeah, it's obviously not the best that, the best bowling conditions in terms of Willand, where um, it's a slowish wicket, but um, yeah, they take a very world class team and bowlers, and it's uh, good to, to, to be able to get a challenge from them. Uh, good evening, Yellen. Uh, congratulations on the series win. Um, I want to know from you, in your opinion, uh, what seems to have worked for South Africa in winning the ODI series, either in chasing or in setting up a total? Yes, um, I think what worked for us is we, we look at uh, moments in the game. I think we, we played, we, we, we handled their total overs of spin. I think we handled it better than, than 
them them facing our spinners. So that's a good confidence for us to wear our spinners. Uh, they were nice and tight. Um, and then also building partnerships um, and working hard for every run. I think we did well as a bowling unit to keep getting a wicket and um, they had a chance to get a big score today, but we just kept getting a wicket so they couldn't go at uh, too much at the end where um, we, keep, we kept break, breaking their momentum. But I think the partnerships we built as bad as uh, kind, uh, kind of gave us the edge. Uh, yeah, Roman, you, you touched on it, but uh, how well did Quinton de Kock bat and uh, how pleased is the team uh, to see him play like that and also for Aidan Markham to get a nice little 37 not out at the end there? Yes, first of all, I'm happy. Um, most of the batters, except David, and he was still in the wings, but um, I'm happy everyone could get a nice bat and get a, get a good, uh, get good momentum. Quinton made it easy for me at the start. I just tried to give him as much strike as possible because he was just, uh, I wanted to let him go uh, and do his thing. He, he, was, he played a couple of ridiculous shots, uh, which is good signs. Um, He's a great, he's one of the best batters in the world when he gets going. Um, so it's good to bat with him. And I'm happy for Aiden also um, showing what he can do. Um, nice and positive mindset. He's got all the talent in the world. So i um, just happy for, for the batting unit. And one last question on the side. <coughs> Thank you. 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 Yeah, personally, it felt way harder than two days ago. Um, yeah, it's, it was just very hot. I can't say much more about it, but it's, yeah, it's always a challenge to, for the body to feel them, to feel them bad in, in conditions like this, but that's what we work for and hopefully do conditioning for. So I'm glad uh, we could, we could get the challenge. Uh, maybe if I batted through, I would have gotten a, uh, we got in a uh, sniper in the leg there, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm stable, critical, but stable. <laughs> no, I'm kidding.